Let's go down to Rome's. So after the Minnesota fight, and Vikings spent a first-round pick on Jordan Addison, the pride of USC, formerly Pitt Panther, Blitnikoff Award winner. Uh, people were pretty excited of what he was going to bring to the passing game, and could he be the Robin to Justin Jefferson's Batman? Long time. You'd love to see it, man. But uh, throughout the offseason, I mean, all that Addison is really known for was getting that speeding ticket, uh, going to buck forty uh, uh, along uh, I-94 here in the Twin Cities, uh, and also losing his license and. Kirk, you uh, again, how come Uber or Lyft hasn't picked up Addison as a spokesperson? I feel like that's such a two foot putt. So easy. But uh, e either way, uh, he's still kind of under wraps, made some plays at training camp, as well as people remember uh, his non catch, even though O'Connell would have challenged it, it would have been a catch in the first preseason game. But uh, he had been a, a relative secret to Vikings fans, but then woo, had himself a really nice game week one. Now, not the result that the Vikings obviously wanted, but there were some positive takeaways, and Addison is uh, certainly one of them. Uh, had his uh, first NFL touchdown, which is fantastic, in his debut, uh, and overall played extremely well. Uh, had six targets, uh, four catches for 61, along a 39 on that touchdown from Kirk Cousins, where they shredded quarters defense. Uh, two first downs as well, including a, a, a really big one deep in the game, uh, and... He only had two targets in the second half, but of course the Vikings only had three drives in the second half, which is kind of infuriating. Uh, infuriating. Also, a uh, 14.0. Average depth of target now, extremely small sample size, but you know the thought of Addison just being an underneath dump off guy. Mm, nah, he's gonna be attacking the defense at all three levels, uh, as well as a 139.6 quarterback rating when thrown at, which is pretty, just pretty good. It's pr pretty damn good. Uh, and in terms of usage, uh, he was used all over the place. Uh, 36 of 64 offensive snaps for the Vikings, just over 50%. Uh, Alignment-wise, he was outside to the left, uh, wide left uh, 12 times. Well, I was going to say wide left because that's a, the common nomenclature, but wide left is very sensitive with us Vikings fans. So mm, outside left 12, uh, including his 39-yard touchdown. That's where he was lined up. Uh, outside right 13 and in the slot for 11. And in the grand scheme of things, uh, in terms of targets, uh, he was tied with KJ for third most on the team. Uh, JJ obviously went off with 11. Would have been nice to have more targets of him in the second half, but, you know, Hawkinson at eight, even though five of them went for negative yardage on those stupid tight end screens. Uh, Madison with four out of the backfield. Oliver got involved uh, in the passing game with three. CJ uh, and Chandler uh, combined for four. So uh, eight, eight targets for the running back room. And I, I do think that that's something that uh, gonna, is going to expand with Addison. And, you know, I, I love me some KJ Osborne to death, man, but he did not have a good game. He had to drop uh, on. Uh, one, one of the three and outs late in the game, as well as he got out muscled by the Bucks DB on the interception, even though, yeah, the ball was behind, but I mean, KJ should have come up with that thing or at least forced an incompletion, but it, it is what it is. And Kirk Cousins even said on that play that he should have checked down to Addison uh, coming in underneath on that double China look. But uh, the whole thing with Addison is that it's a really nice debut. Also, I love that he is uh, he's lined up all over the place at the X, at the Z, in the slot, all over. Uh, and I think that this is just going to continue to grow and show. I, I think that... Um, I, I think that Cousins will de develop more confidence with Addison. Uh, I think he's just getting his feet wet right now. And also I think that it, it's going to have to be more of a game plan because the way that the Buccaneers uh, attacked Jefferson in the second half after letting him run free in the first, I, I think that a lot of teams are going to adjust for that. A lot of teams are going to come out of the gates uh, blazing uh, with, with Jefferson with a double team or bracket coverage or safety help over the top. So it's imperative uh, for guys like Addison and Hawkinson and KJ uh, to really step up and light things up. I think Addison will uh, continue to grow in the game plan and eventually become a focal point of the game plan opposite of Justin uh, Jefferson. So uh, it was a nice debut, and I can't wait to see where this thing uh, goes uh, down the line. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings first-round uh, rookie wide receiver Jordan Addison had a really nice debut. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.